Welcome, mothers and fathers, family and friends. Honored to welcome you to the Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep Remembrance Walk. When a child loses its parents, they're called an orphan. When a spouse loses her or his partner, they're called a widow or a widower. When parents lose their children or a child, there isn't a word to describe them. These are the words of President Reagan in 1988 when he declared October Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month. Today, we still do not have a word to call those of us who have lost a baby. We're gathered here today because we've been impacted by a pregnancy and or infant loss. And while there's not an adequate word to call our community, our hope is that today you'll feel united with others who've walked this very difficult journey as well. Our hope is that you won't feel alone in this journey. Our hope is that you'll find healing, that you'll find peace in honoring your baby through this public remembrance ritual. I uh, lost a child in 2005. Uh, my wife and I were about, my wife and I, we're about five months along in our pregnancy, first child ever. Um, we were amazed when we got to see him, um, Micah. He had fingernails, eyelashes. He was gorgeous. Um, each year, this remembrance walk for me um, brings up the hurt still but it also causes me to honor his memory. And I'm so grateful for him, and I'm so grateful for the amount of time I had with him, even though it was um, inappropriately short. Uh, but the love that we've got for our children, the children that we've lost, the children that we have, um, for our family, That's why we're here. So I appreciate you all. It's good to be in a community that knows. That knows. Um, I'm going to introduce you all uh, to some musician friends who've joined us now for a little bit. They're going to share with us, delight us with the song. Um, please. Give a warm welcome to Billy and Sarah Lloyd. They're going to perform for us in the arms of an angel. Yeah. Spend all your time waiting for that second chance, for the break that will make it okay. There's always some reason to feel not good. And it's hard at the end of the day. I need some distraction. Oh, this beautiful release. Memories see from my veins. They may be empty and weightless, and maybe I'll find some peace. In the arms of an angel, fly away from here, from this dark, cold hotel room, and the endless nest that you feel. You are pulled from the wreckage. Of your silent reverie, you're in the arms of the angel. May you find some comfort here. Mm -hmm. 
so tired of the straight line and everywhere you turn there's vultures and thieves at your back the storm keeps on twisting you keep on building the lies that you make up for all that you lack it don't make no Escape one last time. It's easier to believe in this sweet madness, all this glorious sadness that brings me to my knees in the arms of an angel far away. dark cold hotel room and the endlessness that you feel you've been pulled from the wreckage of your silent lottery and in the arms of an angel you're in the arms of an angel may you find We wouldn't be able to conduct this walk without a number of instrumental volunteers, our musicians, our remembrance readers. This year we have Danny Espinosa, Danielle Reeves, J.P. Butler, and myself. Uh, we have special guests that are going to uh, share their story with us this year. Ashley Glader and Heidi Tribal. Our walk committee, Heidi Luz, Lisa Higgins, Josh Higgins, and Angela Craven. We also want to thank everybody who volunteered today. We would also like to thank the organizations who have taken part in our resource pavilion to provide further support for families. It's critical that the pregnancy and infant loss support programs work together to best serve this community. We'd like to thank these organizations for being a support to our community in our time of need. At the Resource Pavilion, we had uh, the Beautiful Scar Project, the Wishbone Foundation, Littleton Adventist Hospital, the Pediatric Congenital Heart Association of Colorado, Molly Bears, Colorado Pregnancy and Newborn Loss, MEND, Denver Share. And we also want to thank our sponsors today. We had Aura Salon, Philadelphia Insurance Companies, Price Home Improvement, Birth Fit Boulder, Faith 45, Mother Love Herbal Company, Tandem Resource Solutions, Belmar Orthodontics, Homes with Brie, Chick-fil-A Bel Belmar, and Impix. If you'll check our program book, you'll be able to see who our in-kind sponsors were. I uh, also want to point out our top fundraising teams for today. These are folks that raised $500 or more in advance of today to support this organization and today's walk. Um, the following teams raised about $500. Uh, when we call your name, would you please stand? The Pearl Marion Irby, remembering Pearl Marion Irby team. Where are you all at? Right back here. Got the bunny shirts on with the heart. Team Faith Ann Richard. Honoring and remembering Faith and Richard. Where are you all? Right here. Thank you so much. That's Richard. I apologize for mispronunciation of that name. Uh, hashtag Maddie Strong. Remembering Madeline Camille McDaniel. Can you all stand? Where are you at? I see your hands back there. Thank you so much. 
Zaniah, remembering Zaniah, Marie, Saldana, Saldana, where are you all at? Right here. Thank you so much. Then we have Alani Conway, remembering Alani Conway, where are you all at? That team. Would you please stand? Not sure I'm seeing you, but thank you so much. Uh, Casey's Legacy League, remembering Casey, Olivia, Diane, Siegel, right up front. Thank you very much. Um, Bradley Michael Ness, remembering Bradley Michael Ness, that team, where are you all at? Right over here. Thank you very much. We've got Gloria Ann Betty Williams. That team, where are you all located? See you here, but thank you so much. We've got baby sister Hazel, remembering Hazel Rose Wayman. If you could please stand. Team Aiden, remembering Aiden Tyler Fulgham. See you all standing right there. Thank you so much. Team H, remembering River Jones Hobbs. Where are you all? Right over there. We got Talon's team, remembering Talon, Michael Ramberg. Thank you all so much. We got Bo's Brigade. Remembering Bo, Tommy Busby. See you there in the center. We got the DRU crew or Drew crew. Remembering Dylan Randall Urbic. Thank you all so much for your efforts. Owen Michael Stefans Stefanski. Remembering Owen Michael Stefanski. Where's your team at? Thank you much. Team Avery, remembering Avery, Co Avery Coco, Jocko. Where are you all at? Right there. Thank you much. Brianna Bretman, remembering Brianna Bretman, that team, where are you all? A lot of teams here that raised over $500 here. Um, we got the team IAM. Remembering Isaiah Antonio Martinez, where are you all? See you in the back. We got Christian Andres Navarro. Remember, there we go. Represent. David and Ethan Harris, remembering David Paul Harris and Ethan Robert Harris, right up front here. Tessa's Tribe 2019, remembering Tessa Lynn Hibbard. Right this way. Thank you so much. We got Team Grayson Dean Winterringer. Remembering Grayson Dean Winterringer, where are you all at? Thank you. And then I Love Lucy team. Yeah, remembering Lucy Campbell. Let's just give a big salute to all of these teams here. I'd like to introduce you all to Cheryl Haggard, who is the co-founder of Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep, who is here honoring Maddox. Cheryl, would you please come to the front? It is an honor to join with you today in Colorado for Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep Remembrance Walk. Thank you for your ongoing support of Now We Lay Me Down to Sleep. Your dedication helps us serve families who will sadly walk in our shoes one day. For those of you who don't know me, in 2005, my husband and I were expecting the birth of our fourth child. We were having a little boy. We named him Maddox Achilles. On the sixth day of his life, um, we removed him from life support. He was born with a condition called myotubular myopathy, which prevented him from moving or breathing on his own. We spent six days at the NICU here in Presbyterian St. Luke's Hospital with questions that never had any answers. And before we removed him from life support, I knew that I wanted a way to remember him and to honor him. And the way that I wanted to do that was through photographs. 
I had three other children at the time. They were 10, 8, and 4. And I knew that I wanted Maddox's photograph to hang on our wall in our home along with his older brothers and sisters. So that night, we removed him from life support. We did hire a professional photographer here in Denver, Colorado, who became my co-founder, Sandy Pooch. And we did photographs of him. And walking out of the hospital that night, um, walking out, I walked out. That was the first night of my lifetime journey with healing. And I walked out of the hospital with empty arms, but I did have hope in my heart that one day I would see him again through those images that the professional photographer had taken. And seeing those photographs for the first time, I was just, I, I'm sure like most of you, it's just so warming to see him and have those photographs of him. And I knew that I needed them not just only for my healing, but for the healing of my entire family, including my three older children. And those photographs have brought healing to my heart. They brought hope to my future. And they've also brought honor to my son Maddox. So I want to thank you personally and invite you to be part of Now We Lay Me Down to Sleep Beyond This Walk. Now We Lay Me Down to Sleep only exists because of the large network of volunteers around the world. As you likely know, we are always in need of photographers. Please consider being a volunteer photographer or we ask you to make a post today on your local social media about our need for photographers and volunteers. You never know who may see it and become a photographer and who they might serve locally in their community or somebody may be close to you. In order to get photographers to the hospitals, a number of other volunteers make that happen, including dispatchers. Many of you here receive a care package from the hospitals. This was made possible through the efforts of dozens of volunteers. We would love to have your help at our care package assembly and delivery on October 12th. Please visit the care package table to sign up. We also need, and we need we also need, excuse me, a number of volunteers for various responsibilities throughout the year, and we need help with making bracelets. If you crochet or knit, we are always in need of blankets and hats, and please visit our table for more information for the sign-up. So you'll see the Now We Lay Me Down to Sleep tables up there under the white tents. So now I would like to introduce to you Gina Harris, the Chief Executive Officer of Now We Lay Me Down to Sleep, who is here honoring her babies, David and Ethan. And I want to shout out personally to her for a huge thank you for everything she does with the organization. Trust me, we can't do it alone. <laughs> thank, you. thank you, Cheryl. It was probably 12 years ago, maybe today, that we first met when I learned about my son, David. And Cheryl was an instrumental part of my healing, so thank you. Uh, every journey is unique, but, we have in com but what we have in common is that we are all part of the pregnancy and infant loss community. We don't ask to be part of this community, but we are. In the midst of our grief, we reach for someone who can sit with us and understand. And I want to thank everyone who's up on the stage today because every person who's on the stage today had some part in my journey 11 and 12 years ago. So while no one can completely understand your individual journey, we still long for someone to understand. Sometimes we find that friendship and sometimes we do not. For those of us who have made friendships in this community, it's a very special bond that cannot be broken. Through my husband, I have had the privilege of knowing two the two presenters today, and I knew, knew them before they had sadly become part of this community. I would like to introduce to you Heidi Tribal and Ashley Glader. You may recognize them because we've shared their stories uh, through our blog posts. Heidi and Ashley will be telling their stories, which shared similar timelines, but then ultimately united them as friends. Please welcome Heidi and Ashley. It was the day of the 20-week ultrasound of our third baby, and I was excited to find out what gender our tiebreaker would be. We found out that he was a boy, and we also found out that he had a missing left arm, a missing kidney, and possible heart and stomach issues. We left the ultrasound room shocked and devastated. November 2016, I was a mom to two young girls. Earlier that year, I'd miscarried two precious babies, one in January and one in August, due to a condition called subchorionic hematoma. I'd held each of those babies after I'd miscarried them. I'd named them Avery and Everett. 
I'd wrapped each of them in tiny crocheted blankets I'd made. I'd placed them each in tiny boxes I called their caskets and buried them. That day in late November, I took a pregnancy test to find out I was pregnant again. I was numb. I wanted that baby with all my heart and I was so afraid I'd miscarry again. In January of 2017, we had named our son Joshua after the warrior in the Bible because we knew he was going to have to fight. I had an echocardiogram to check Joshua's heart. There were abnormalities, but the information given to me was inconclusive. December 2017, I was seven weeks pregnant and began bleeding heavily. I thought I was losing a third baby. I went to a doctor's appointment to learn I had another subchorionic hematoma. Nearly every week, I went to the doctor with heavy bleeding, thinking I was miscarrying. And every time, our baby's heart was still beating strong. In January of 2017, I had fear turned to celebration when I learned I'd have a son. In February of 2017, I went to the emergency room at 13 weeks pregnant, having contractions and losing more blood than ever before. But our son was okay. It was like a miracle. In March 2017, I had a procedure to remove excess amniotic fluid. Doctors would then check the fluid for genetic abnormalities. That day, I felt hopeful for answers, answers that we never would get as to why our son had so many anomalies. In March of 2017, I finally fell out of the woods as I approached 20 weeks gestation with our son, whom we'd named Elliot. I'd had symptoms of miscarriage over a dozen times, yet my little boy continued to thrive. I was 36 weeks pregnant at the time of my amniotic fluid procedure in March. I was happy that we'd made it that far since doctors never indicated how far my pregnancy would go or if I'd carry Joshua to viability at all. My, my son, son was, was already, already a miracle. miracle. In March of 2017, I went to my 20-week ultrasound, expecting to see my healthy baby who had made it through four months of a horrible pregnancy. Instead, I saw that my amniotic sac had weakened due to all the months of bleeding from my subchorionic hematoma, and the fluid surrounding Elliot had blood in it. The doctor told me I was in danger of my water breaking early. That night, I began leaking amniotic fluid, but I didn't know it. March 23rd, 2017, Joshua was born at 38 weeks pregnant, almost on the way to the hospital in rush hour traffic. <laughs> he came 30 minutes after we arrived at the hospital. Joshua came out purple and the staff had to rush to get him breathing. After hospital staff got Joshua breathing, he was whisked off to the NICU. Oddly enough, I felt very at peace that night. On March 27th of 2017, I found out that my water had broken completely. I was only 21 weeks pregnant. They told me if I was still pregnant in two weeks, I would be admitted to the hospital to await Elliot's birth. I was convinced we hadn't made it so far for nothing. I, was, I felt certain our Elliot would make it through this. Early April 2017, a week after Josh was born, we found out that there was no eyeball under one of his eyelids and that he would be partially or mostly blind. This news was devastating to absorb. However, we remained hopeful for Joshua's future. April 9th, 2017. It was one day before I was supposed to be admitted to St. Joseph's Hospital, but I woke up that morning with heavy bleeding and more loss of amniotic fluid. I went to St. Joe's where Elliot was checked on the ultrasound and was still doing well. I was admitted to the hospital to live there for an unknown amount of time I was relieved to be in the care of trained medical staff. The week of May 5th, when Joshua was six weeks old, he had surgery to have his feeding tube put in his stomach. He also had his eye cyst removed. They tried to remove his breathing tube, but he couldn't breathe without it. Then they realized he had an antibiotic-resistant bacteria illness that had collapsed one of his lungs. That same week, we found out that his trachea was incredibly narrow, and we learned he would need urgent surgery to widen his trachea. He was transferred down to the pediatric intensive care unit. Even though people visited and encouraged me, it felt like no one could experience carrying Elliot inside them every moment knowing his life was in danger. Even though we had so much support with meals and gift cards from others, there was a loneliness that no one else really knew the trauma and the heartache in those four walls of his hospital room. It was a, it was a very, very isolating experience. experience. Week after week passed while I remained pregnant on hospital bed rest. 
My husband and daughters visited from our home an hour away a few times a week. It was a very stressful time for our family, but we knew when Elliot came home, it would all be worth it. Week after week and day after day, my family and I visited Joshua in the hospital. Even when we weren't dealing with watching doctors perform CPR on our son or seeing him suffer in pain, it was hard. We drove two or more hours every day just to be with our son, all while trying to juggle our other two children under four years old at home. For the 79 days of Joshua's hospital bed rest. For the 50 days I was on a hospital bed rest. The, the hospital, hospital became, became our, our home away, away from, from home. home. During Josh's trachea surgery, his condition was so life-threatening, we wanted to be nearby. So we stayed at the Ronald McDonald House right across the street from St. Joe's. During my long days of waiting in the hospital, I would look out my window and notice families going in and out of the Ronald McDonald House. Little did I, did I know a future friend was there. Mid-May, we thought it was smooth sailing after the surgery, only to be woken up in the middle of the night to the news the doctor had been doing CPR on Josh for several minutes due to a rare mishap. Mid-May, I was 27 weeks pregnant and a friend was visiting me in the hospital for lunch. Elliot was on the heart monitor and his heart rate dropped drastically. I, I thought, thought I was, I was going, going to lose him. him. For the next few weeks, Joshua improved dramatically and quickly. Finally, there was hopeful talk about bringing him home. When I was 30 weeks pregnant, 10 weeks after my water had broken, I went into labor. Elliot's heart rate dropped dramatically again. I was rushed to an emergency C-section. Elliot William Tribal was born on May 29th, 2017. I felt completely relieved. Even though the medical team could tell Elliot's lungs were small due to lack of fluid in my womb, he was stable. I was positive he would live. Two and a half months had passed in the hospital with our sweet boy. We had eight specialist appointments scheduled and we knew it was going to be a long road ahead, but we were able to take him home on June 9th. He was 11 weeks old. I felt scared, but it was such a relief to get out of the hospital. For the first five days of his life in the NICU, Elliot remained stable with minor exceptions. My family and I spent precious time with him. My daughters did not get to meet him because they weren't allowed in the NICU at the time, but I was so content. But then, on June 3rd, 2017, when Elliot was five days old, I returned to his NICU room after a short nap to find the medical staff working on him. They said there was nothing they could do. His small lungs could not sustain his life. They placed him in my arms where he died at 5.56 p.m. The day we got home with Joshua, we were busy getting everything set up, such as his feeding tube and oxygen tank. He wasn't feeling well and was up much of the night that first night. But I didn't care because he was finally home. Saturday morning, he came to my daughter's soccer game. Family and friends came over to help me clean the house. He was very lethargic, but he had his first bath with his brother and sister that night. After his bath, I took the last bandage off of him, and I just cried looking at him on my bed. I thought, finally, we're home. You're mine. I put him to bed that night and woke up about 2 a.m. and found Josh had stopped breathing. He was with Jesus. Leaving the hospital without my baby was an assault on my motherhood. It was so wrong. There aren't words to describe handing my baby to the coroner. It was such a final goodbye. The funeral was an impossible thing for me to accept as reality. It felt like it was closure for many people, but for me, it was just the beginning of my grief journey. After the funeral, I felt isolated. All the flowers died, all the cards stopped coming. It felt like the world kept moving, but my world was frozen in place. I, I felt, felt alone. alone. A few weeks after Joshua died, two separate acquaintances mentioned a woman named Heidi who'd also lost a baby. I was introduced to Ashley, who was also writing a blog about her experience. We started writing one another and then decided to meet for coffee. When I met Heidi for coffee, one of the questions I remember asking her is what Elliot looked like in his casket. I felt relieved there was someone I could ask a question like that to. When Ashley and I would meet or write to one another, I felt hope I could make it. In my loneliest times, I felt like I was going crazy with grief, but talking with Ashley helped me process my thoughts and feelings and alleviated some of the loneliness. We would discuss things people did or said that bothered us, 
or things that really meant a lot to us. People who validated our grief and honored our babies by asking about them or saying their names always helped us feel like our babies weren't forgotten or invisible. Our friendship also gave us a safe space to discuss how our grief was affecting our marriages and other relationships. Men grieve the loss of their children just as deeply, but often express it differently. Our friendship helped us understand our husbands better. The relationship Heidi and I have has given us a place to wrestle with our faith in light of our son's death. It has been very important for me to have a person who doesn't judge my hard questions or dark emotions. For those of you here who've lost babies, we want you to know that you're not alone. We encourage you to utilize support groups, whether online or in person, or maybe make a new friend here today. Even if you never meet another parent who shares your story of loss, know that someone has felt the things that you feel and understands what you're going through, even though each of our stories is unique. Even if it's been years since losing your baby, it's not too late to find community and friendship. It's important for you to reach out and to tell other, to others and tell your baby's story. Your baby's story might be the one that helps another grieving parent heal. It can be hard to find purpose in the painful tragedy of losing a child, but being there for someone else can give even a small sense of purpose. Each one of our babies has left a legacy and motivates us to honor them in different ways. Our family has chosen to donate baskets of necessities to families whose babies are in the NICU. I found several meaningful ways to honor the legacies of my three babies in heaven, including writing a children's book, sharing my journey on my blog, and trying to support other moms who are facing the terrible pain of infant loss and miscarriage. Above all, please remember that even on your darkest days, you are not alone. Someone out there understands your story matters, your grief matters, your baby matters. Please let this quote from Lexi Burnt, a fellow infant loss mom, encourage you. On the days when no one but you mentions their name, I am so, so sorry. Say their name bravely. Know they are still real, they were still here, and they are still yours. Um. I've always appreciated how um, when in a space where people have experienced loss and they really get it, um, we know how to honor one another's stories um, and not, not trivialize um, and at the same time have our stories honored. Um, that, that is a, sometimes a difficult thing, um, but I appreciate that this is a community where that can happen. Um, we were going to be reading the names of all the babies we're honoring and remembering today. As we do this, we ask for everyone to just be respectful while each name is being read uh, by refraining from speaking and remaining quiet. Uh, releasing a live butterfly for your babies is a unique way to honor and remember them. The butterfly release is optional. When you hear your baby's name, you can release your butterfly at that time. Uh, allow the butterfly again to fly in its own time as some might be a little bit sleepier than others. They may take about three to five minutes to wake up. So if you have a butterfly that you feel like needs to be replaced, you can go right over here to the tent and um, they will give you another butterfly to release. I'd like to welcome our readers. Can you all just give them a round of applause for being here today? Janae names earlier. Danny, Danielle, and Josh. JP. <laughs> Sorry, Jonathan, and we'll begin. Carlisle, Jasper, Abagulum, Natalie, Acuna, Baby, Acuna, Baby, Aguirre, Mary, Isabel, Adrianson, Adeline, Hope, Alinas Rangel, Easton James Aldridge, Peanut Allison, Bear Cub One Allison, Bear Cub Two Allison, Gianna Pearl Alvino, Ivy Elizabeth Angeloni, Carter. Wagdi Assad, Julianne Lynn Baca, 
Ella Grace Barnard. Brindle Pierce Batterton. Olivia Gray Bayer. Marley Jean Beatty. Oliver James Beckins. Baby Bellardi one. Baby Bellardi two. Baby Bell. Lucas John Piper. Baby Bombard. Cora Jade Bell. Eight Bingson Angel Babies. Carlo John Rogoff. Joel Ambrose Hollerback. Baby Berlin. Rose Hannah Berlin. Ryan Marie Bernal. Willow Rose Betts. Adeline K. Bjorkland. Ethan Bjorkland. Isabella Elaine Blair. Archie May Bover. Amy Lee Boljack. Vincent George Borilla. Carter Dean Johnson. Sarah Elizabeth Bosch. Emma Jane Bowers. Jeremiah Bragg. Aurora Elaine Boyle. Loris Rochelle Breen. Brianna Bretman. Hannah Marie Brooks. Abby Marie Brown. Theodore David Brown. Dominique Nicole Lynn Buckner Latore. Delilah Dawn Smith. Damien Alexander Burry. Dominic Michael Allen Burry. Bo Tommy Busby. Jennifer Ann Butler. Michael Lawrence Butler. Mark Alexander Calderon. Charlie Clark Caldwell. Lilac Butterfly Call. Bridger Lee Call. Rain Call. Carmen Hope Callo. Lucy Campbell. Luke Arthur Campbell. Cole Ryan Karlstrom. Aubrey Marie Carter. Baby Girl Carter. Two Carter Babies. Michael James Salazar. Natalia Castellan. Charlotte May Cedarberg. Sven Olav Cheney. Sebastian Jun Yong Cho. Adrian Clausen. Joshua Clausen. Charles Brian Cobb. Lucas Cameron Converse. Alani Conway. The Beast Cook. Cooper Glenn Cosgriff. Parker James Cote. Calder Raymond Cronkite. Nash Roper Crow. Our four Craven Angels. Aaliyah Teyamo Cruz. Baby Doll. 
Alexander, Anthony, Thomas, Darby. Baby Davis. Julia Ann Davis. Baby Hope Davis. Daniel Hamish Dietschman. Hamina Yarali de Leon. Soraya Faith Sanchez. Ariana Hope Sanchez. Valerie Abriana Delgado. Kelsey Ann Damas. Baby Diaz. Baby Boy Diaz. Ryan Lee Driftmeyer. Gianna Alina Duran. Annika Maddie Marie Dykma. Avery Grace Dykma. Elijah Joseph Edmonds. Tristan Jonathan Eisman. Azalea Nicole Ellington Knott. Casey Lee Ellis. Reed Ellis. Jack Joseph Ellsworth. Walter Ryan Ellsworth. Eleanor Reese Ellsworth. Amelia Grace Ellsworth. Wyatt James Eusebio. Isaiah Sean Ferris. Braden Lee Fisher. Elizabeth Fournier. Providence Avery Fournier. Shiloh Fournier. Ayla Grace Frost. Jade Airely Frost. Aiden Tyler Fulgham. Cel Celeste Marie Gallegos. Baby Gallegos. Adrian Ray Love Garcia. Leon Ray Garcia. Baby Madril. Logan Matthew G. Braden Leroy Edward Gamer. Jackson Andy Gerard. Darren Johnson. Baby Gianna, number one. Baby Gianna, number two. Jake Gibson. Geisler Babies. Lily Claire May Giesinger. Hunter William Mayock Giesinger. Lachlan Wyatt Oliver Giesinger. Eliana May Gillespie. Joshua Toby Gladder. Cameron Elizabeth Glacier. Baby Boy Glacier. Joshua Ray Godinez Jr. Irene Gomez. Elijah Cesar Gonzalez. Baby Gonzalez. Baby Gonzalez. Judy Lane Green. Moxie Vaughn Green. Lotus Bean Green. Alexa Grace Noel Griffin. Noah Deo Griffin. Nikki Maria. Grinowitz. Abel Guerra. Melody Athena Garcia. Maddox Achilles Haggard. Brinley Michaela Hall. Bailey Rose Harden. Shira Rose Harrell. David Paul Harris, Ethan Robert 
hairs. Gabriel Hawk, Kinley Rose Haviland, Heckert Babies, Simon Ebert Joseph Heinzerlin, Little Guy Heinzerlin, Baby Herrera, Baby Herrera, Gabriel James Herrera, Gabriela Ariana Herrera, Amelia Rain Herrera, Tessa Lynn Hibbard, Tyler Devin Hicks, Remy Ray Higgins, Nathaniel Hines, Cooper Jordan Henricks, River Jones Hobbs, Evelyn May Hoffman, Shane Hoffman, Ella May Lenise Holiday, Pearl Marion Irby, Adam Shane Jacobs, Javon Derek Jamerson, Isaac James Jensen, Baby number two Jensen, Baby number three Jensen, Corin Marie Job, Avery Coco Jockel, Baby Jones, Grace Maylee Kenuma, Corey Allen Collis, Baby Kasiba One, Cadence Michelle Kasiba, Brianna Nicole Kenfield, Colton Robert Kennedy, Killian O'Gara Kennedy, Cheyenne Renee Key, River Champion Contour, George Kraft, Benjamin Samuel Kreienbrink, August Joy Kreienbrink, Rita May Kreienbrink, Caitlin Amanda Lafferty, Baby LaJoy, Nalia Rosemary Lang, Anthony Eugene Lavinia Jr., Lavinia Babies 1, 2, and 3, Dom Dominic Dominica Lavinia, Nicole Ann Lay, Malcolm Anthony Lee, Emmy Lee, Connor Mark Scott Lemley, Benjamin, Benjamin Allen Liao, Mary Jane Adeline Lieberman, Ruby Ann Lagaki, Sarah Ann Melhoff, Emilio Xavier Lucero, Ibis Macedo, Macy Renee Mackey, Lennon Ray Mestas, Emerson Riley Meisch, Hosanna Major, Adeline Grace Moline, Camden Anthony Manzanares, Brooklyn K. Marino, Lucy Lou Martinez, Isaiah Antonio Martinez, Isaiah Liam Martinez, Tisha Simone Marv, Christopher Scott Mason Pusey Jr., Michael James Mason Pusey. 
Fufu and Kiki, Mason Pose. Baby Mogan. Dylan Mogan. Cadence Maulin. Lori Marie MC. Madeline Camille McDaniel. Jace Emilio McDonald. Noel Karina McKelvey. Vida Ruth Medellis. Marlo Alice Medina. Julian Tristan Megardikian. Bella Joy Merkel. Michael Todd Merrill. Kason James Mary. Lily Marianne Milko. Landon Thomas Miller. Trinity Catherine Miller. Coralyn Michelle Miller. Kennedy Ann Miski. Adriana Ray Montez. Ulysses Luis Morales. Daniel Lopez Morris. Michael Lawrence Ambrose. Christian Andres Navarro. Riddick Andrew Neal. Gibson Dean Neese. Jeremiah Michael Nellis. Bailey Hope Nelson. Bradley Michael Ness. Kobe Wynn. Olivia Marcella Knoll. Emerson Drea Norman. Raylin Obenchain. Baby Obenchain. Emerson John Ogren. Bennett Elias Ogren, Baby Ortega, Josephine Love Escorsa, Jaden Robert Ortiz, Joseph Ortiz, Baby Ortiz, Chevy Ray Ortiz, Baby Padilla. Emma Evelyn Palace, Ezekiel Matthew Pantoya, Ariel Rachel Patton, Mia Bella Pannoni, Gunner Michael Perry, Kristen David Populus Jr., Donta Joseph. Patoya Aguilar, Nolan Eugene Petty, James Potter, Liam Potter, Caden Cooper Primer, Adeline Anastasia Prentice, Talon Michael Ramberg. Grace Mary Rondo, Angel Reyes Lasoya, Dominic Reynoso, Faith Ann Richard, Axel Ryan Cash Rios, Caden Archer Riskin, Hasil Sadel. Riverda, Brody Douglas Robinson, Leah Angel Rodriguez, Matthew Joseph Stone Ruffles, Micah Russell, Baby Rytierski, Zania Marie Saldana. Gabriel Luke Sanchez, 
Samara Isabel Sandoval. Angel Richard Sarmento. Shirley Sauer. Aiden Thomas Clark Reeves. William James Scanlon. Dawson James Schneider. Emmeline Gemma Sheff. Madeline Grace Schott. Taylee Marie Sears. Riley Rose Kareen Sago. Ava Grace Sersanti. Caleb Michael Shoemaker. Baby Schubert II. Baby Schubert III. Casey Olivia Diane Siegel. Leo James Sierra Felix. Baby Sinner number one. Baby Sinner number two. Baby Sinner number three. Persephone Rose Sitchler. Mariah Faith Stark. Connor Jeffrey Starr. Jackson Daniel Starr. Owen Michael Stefanski. Timothy Sawyer Strombel. Alice Jolene Sutton. Bristol Renee Swisher. Leilani Lynn Tafe. William Landon Thomas. Clara Jean Thompson. Jacob Mel Todd. Sarkis Robertson Tutelian. Dominic Israel Tootle. Brendan Juan Toscano. Aiden Evander Fields. Lucas Ton Tron. Avery Rose Tribal. Everett James Tribal. Elliot William Tribal. Emerson Brindley Triber. Natalie Grace Turner. Dylan Randall Urbic. Gracie Lauren Leilani Vargas. Tomasiah Vargas. Lauren Marie Vigil. Azalea Abigail Villa. Christine Marie Wagel. Sebastian Alexander Sigmund Wagner. Isabella Mora Wallace. Hazel Rose Wayman. Jameson Charles Weber. Julian David Weber. Benjamin Robert Weimert. Baby Weimert. Caden Max Welch. Aiden Daniel Wells. Eliana Jade Wheeler. Laura Ann Willard. Scott Leonard Hedinger. Hedinger. Glorianne Betty Williams. Oliver Caleb Wilson. Felicity Marie Wilson. Grayson Dean Winteringer. Justin Zane Wisniewski. Sunshine Jane Yates. Zane Zachary Zapatello. Blair DeLacy Zavala. Faith Elizabeth. Mateo Elias Jaden. Jaden Michaela. Mac Adam. Benjamin Marion Whalen. Albertine River Brulee. 
Matthew Robert Seth Pennock. Jackson James Woods. Grace Guitar Woods. Reagan Rebecca Woods. Caleb Calvin Woods. Canaan Michael Dowler. Alexander Mason Mackenzie the Fourth. Would you know my name if I saw you in heaven? Will it be the same if I saw you in heaven? I must be strong and carry on. Cause I know I don't belong here in heaven. Would you hold my hand if I saw you in heaven? Would you? help me stand if I saw you in heaven I'll find my way through night and day cause I know I just can't stay here in heaven Time can bring you down. Time can bend your knee. Time can break your heart. Have you beg and please? Beg and please. Beyond the door, there's peace, I'm sure, and I know there'll be no more tears in heaven. Would you know my name? If I saw you in heaven, will it be the same? If I saw you in heaven, I must be strong and carry on. Cause I know I don't belong. Here in heaven, cause I know I don't belong. Here in heaven, as we join together and remember our babies, could we just all join? in a, a brief moment of silence, huh? I'll pause now. Uh, we're here today, joined together in unity as a pregnancy and infant loss community. 
When I announce what describes your relationship to the baby that you're honoring today, would you please stand? If you are a parent honoring a baby today, could you please stand? Your sibling, please stand. Grandparents, please stand. Extended family, please stand. Friends, please stand. Nurses, doctors, and other medical professionals, please stand. You are now I lay me down to sleep supporter, photographer, or volunteer, please stand. And any supporter of this cause, please stand. Okay, now, would you please raise both your hands in the air? With your hands raised, I'm going to ask that we all just join hands with one another. We've got our arms lifted and joined together as a symbol of support, as a symbol of strength. We unify, and we have each other for comfort in our journey. In your journey, I, I imagine uh, you may have felt isolated. You may have felt alone, but know that we have each other here to stand united with, and we honor one another's children, our loss, and we stand together now in remembrance of our children. I'm going to count to three, and when I do, I'd like for each one of us just to say our baby's names alive, the children that we're remembering here. One, two, three. Micah. Hey, thank you so much for being here, huh? We are going to join together now for a journey. We're going to take a reflective remembrance walk. All babies' names that were pre-registered are going to appear alphabetically in groupings on large signs along the route. The walk is being led by our treasurer of the Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep Board of Directors, Mike Stefanski, along with his wife, Erin. I think we got this thing underway. So... If you have a remembrance sign along the route, you would like to take it with you, go ahead and collect that before you leave. Thank you again for being here today to share the memory of your babies with us. Bless you.